Within two months after the murder of East Kentwood student Mujay Dumbuya, the Kent County Prosecutor's Office is now filing murder charges. We have charged Quinn Anthony James with one count of first degree premeditated murder. Quinn James, the man she was set to testify against in her rape, is charged with her murder. Gerald Bennett is charged with helping. 24 Hour News 8's Heather Walker is showing us how investigators link the men to the murder. Heather? Well, police have everything from surveillance video to phone records and even a money transfer that James made to allegedly pay for help with this murder. There is no one key piece of evidence. I think this is a conglomeration of all the, the difficult work that these departments did. Just count one that you did deliberately with the intent to kill and with premeditation kill and murder one Mujay Dumbaya. Both Quinn James and his alleged aide in the murder, Gerald Bennett, were arraigned on the charges today. With James Quinn and or other persons uh, unknown to commit the following listed offense, specifically homicide, murder in the first degree. Bennett is from the Detroit area, and investigators the say there was no known contact prior to the crime. According to investigators, phone records reveal communications where James was looking for an accomplice for the murder and the disposal of Mujay Dumbuya's body. According to court documents, a friend of James connected him to Bennett, and there was video of James wiring money to Bennett's girlfriend the day before the abduction and murder. The court documents reveal records placed James in close proximity to Dumbuya's home and bus stop the night before she went missing, and a forensic test tied James to Dumbuya's clothing. Plus, images from a trail camera show a black Acadia in close proximity to where her body was found down in Kalamazoo the day she went missing, which is also the day James received a black Acadia loaner vehicle from a dealership. The car later showed up at Bennett's girlfriend's home in Detroit, the same woman who was wired the money. Both Bennett and James are being held without bonds. James still says he's innocent. Sue.